Hello, sweet souls. Happy Thursday, August 4th. Spirit wanted me to come on and do another reading. Let's call on St. Michael. St. Michael, please return to sender anyone sending ill will through that word or action toward myself or the viewer. I did pull from the wisdom of the oracle. And what I got was co-create. Your divine purpose is to work with others, to help others, to be present in the here and now, to release what no longer serves them and to be present. Live in a space of love and gratitude and to release. I feel like this is going to be a card of, sorry, a reading of karma. Um, but let's just see. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels and Saints, what message do you have for us? Yeah. So you've been putting so much work into yourself. You really have been healing and focusing on creative endeavors. And the wheel is finally turning in your favor. This is not only abundance. This is about fate and destiny in alignment with what you're meant to do. Yeah. Again. So you are facing forward, looking into the future. You can see your ships are coming in. And it has to do with collaborating with other people, helping other people, working with other people. You are planting the seeds for your future. You're putting energy towards your manifestations. What's important to you? Yeah, you're moving into a time of peace in your life. This is peace and contentment. So much um, joy, contentment. Contentment, they just keep saying contentment. Happiness, yes, happiness. Happiness is coming in for you. Creative, passionate, new endeavors. This could be work, career. can also, also be love. But it's coming in. What else? Yeah, you are so divinely protected. So divinely protected. Every action you take is divinely protected against those that would seek to destroy you. Those that would distort the narrative. Those that would try to take power from you. These are people that abuse their own power. Um, <laughs> these are people that, that use their abilities... Um, to distort the truth, use their abilities to manipulate and control and dominate. Yeah, look at this. I felt that energy to deceive. Manipulate and deceive. What is this? Yeah, so it's because they have love for you. They have love for you, but they are so toxic. They can't get out of this energy. They're stuck. They don't know what to do because they're stuck. Yeah, they're stuck because God is forcing them to reflect again. Oh, this could be an Aries Leo or Sag, someone's passion driven, but the angel of truth, I, they just said the angel of truth. This is temperance, which talks about balance and it talks about divine timing, but they just said the words, the angel of truth comes in to bring balance into your life and balance into the life of this Aries Leo or Sag. Yeah. This person, you know, will come in or wants to come in and speak half-truths. This is half-truths. This is, I just heard bullshit. I'm sorry. You know, guys, I don't cuss normally. I just heard bullshit. That was the angels that said that. And you know what? You already know the truth. You have received divine enlightenment. You know everything that you need to know. Everything. Um, any emotional offer that this person may bring is it comes from a dark place they're a lower vibrational energy and yeah you're the empress and you have a bright future with so many wishes coming true why would you return to someone that that breadcrumbs and gives to multiple people i mean really you have stability you have the best of everything and you're not going to settle for anything lower than you i mean this is justice this person's rejection is justice uh, you rejecting this person is justice um, for the mind games. Yeah. <laughs> so judgment in reverse is bad karma. Um, you know, they, I get it also in the upright, but they're saying this person is, they are stuck. They are trapped in their karma. And I, I said, I felt this was about karma. You taking your power back and you refusing the offer and loving yourself is really propelling this person into karma. They were a victim. They were a victim. They played victim. They had nothing solid to offer. They played mind games. And now you've made the decision to move on. And they know there's no going back. They can't return. They can't return. God is reminding them of the third party situation they put you in that caused you great suffering. 
um, lower vibrational energy and that's why they're being cut off. They know this truth. They know that this is the truth. They can't escape the truth. They can't escape the memory. They can't escape the memory. They were um, money hungry. They abandoned and rejected you for something that, that looked better. That could give them more result. But you know what? The death is here. What they thought would bring them great reward, death will come of it. They will be forced to heal. They will be forced to heal. Well, you have a soul connection and you will remain in your high vibrational, high priestess energy listening to the divine. Um, this person that thought they got away with what they did to a divine being, a divine connection. Oh, you're gonna get communication. Some of you may get communication from the third party um, in regards to this love, this divine love that you have for them, but also this cup that they gave to someone else. You're on a new journey and this person is manifesting you back, but they're highly imbalanced, highly imbalanced. Yeah, look, the truth will come out about their lies and deceit. This is part of their karma. The truth will come out and there's nothing that they can do to prevent it, nothing. Yeah, so you will be recognized for who you are, your true authentic self. You will be recognized and this person who gave no love to you is now in the energy of, of heartbreak because they've lost, and these are threes, they've lost what they had which was a gift from God that they will never ever get in this lifetime receive again. Um, they are stuck, bound to the devil. This is the devil card, ego. I got two threes, which is about divine intervention. And yeah, you were supposed to be a divine partner, but now God is restoring balance into your life. You are loving, you are kind, you are empathetic. You are um, serving your purpose right now. God is restoring balance in your life. And this person is forced to watch. This is karma. Forced to watch, you have happiness. You have complete happiness. Yeah. You know, seeing you walk away, seeing you have joy and happiness, seeing the wheel turn in your favor, seeing abundance coming your way, emotional fulfillment, and some of you may also be connected with two of our sign here, as Leo or Sag. Um, this, this person cannot deal with um, the release you releasing them. They don't know how to deal with it, but they weren't accountable. You're playing the seeds for your future. You're focused on your future and your 10 of pentacles, generational wealth. And this is promised to you by God, promised to you by God. This flew up in the air and then landed back in the deck. New opportunities, learning new things, creative endeavors coming to you, multiple opportunities actually. Again, an offer that you can't resist that is in alignment with your greater good. It is coming in and you will defend it. You're not letting anyone in that's in this low vibe energy. You know the truth. You've already made the decision to defend yourself and God defends you. You already know the truth. This person won't admit the truth, but you already know the truth. And they're, I hate to say this word, but they're so stupid. They think that you don't know. You're a highly intuitive being. They think you don't know the truth. I mean, please, yes, God says protect yourself. This person, ooh, you have wishes coming true and this person cannot cash in on your dreams and wishes. They're not meant to. God's moving you away from them. God wants you to stay away from this energy. Why? Because they're receiving karma, justice. They're receiving justice. Now, this past life energy is trapped in their head and this is exactly where they'll bring you right down to, being confined to your own mental prison. You have a new beginning, a passionate new beginning that's coming in quick. Yeah, divine love that's divinely guided. The lower vibrational energy does not want this. They don't want this. They don't want this in your life because they know this is your divine justice for what they did. They have not admitted what they've done. They won't. Their ego is so big, but you know what? I'm telling you, they will be made accountable. They will. You will cut this person out. You're, you're, there's no, you've already gone through an awakening, a transformation. You are in this abundant energy, focusing on yourself and your career. You are strong. You are empowered. You are the emperor. You are, and you are stable and financially secure. You will forever be a missed opportunity to this person because you are the star and your light will shine the rest of this lifetime. I promise you. I love you guys. I hope you have an amazing day. Bye-bye.